Hey everybody, so we are going to be doing today the um, keto egg loaf recipe. So I'm going to cut it in half because I don't like to wait for the full recipe. But if you want to double the recipe, I will put the instructions and the ingredients in the description box. But I'm going to do half of the recipe. So we are going to do four eggs. So four eggs in your blender and I'm going to be using my Ninja that I got on sale at TJ Maxx that I love. We are going to do two tablespoons of melted butter and I do not have a microwave so I had to cook mine on the stove and there it goes. Four ounces of cream cheese and I already just cubed that up and have it ready to go into my blender, especially because I'm using one hand and that's kind of difficult. One, it's one fourth a cup of sugar, but since I'm not doing the full recipe, I'm doing a little more than one eighth because I like it to taste sweet and I'm using monk fruit. Of course, you can use Swerve or whatever sub sugar substitute you have. So I'm doing half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of vanilla and I am just going to put my lid. So I have my lid on my blender cup over here and I am just going to So our mix is done and we are just going to fill our loaf pan. And the crying baby is upset because the Wi-Fi has stopped working. I'm also going to add some cinnamon on top before I bake it. because I am going to make this into like a French toast. So just gonna add the cinnamon already. And that's going to go at 350 degrees. So here is my egg loaf fresh out of the oven. It's gonna shrink, so I wanted to show you how fluffy it looked before it shrinks up so I'm gonna let it cool down real quick so I'm just making mine a little bit crispier and some butter in my cast iron skillet and this is the finished product and I topped it with my magic syrup and I found this at uh, my local grocery store and it is keto paleo and I believe it is one net carb for two tablespoons so I put up I think I also did two strawberries cut up mm -hmm on top of my egg loaf and it's delicious the whole family loves it i also added a few lily's chocolates and it was marvelous so go ahead and try that guys so i'm just reheating my marinated carne asada that i had already cooked last night and some um avocado oil. so i'm going to use this burger leaf lettuce because i don't have any other lettuce right now I'm going to slice up some avocado and then I am going to use and so I already chopped up the lettuce and I put half an avocado on here and I believe this is probably about four ounces of the marinated steak and I'm just going to swipe just a little bit of that chipotle ranch and we are good to go. So for the chicken crusted pizza, all I have for the crust is one pound of chicken, ground chicken, one fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese, and one fourth a cup of mozzarella cheese. And I'm also gonna throw some salt and pepper in there to taste.
so I just mix that all together and when I'm done mixing it and forming kind of like a dough like substance I'm going to put it on a parchment paper and I'm gonna cover this I didn't get the footage but I covered with another parchment paper and rolled it out to make a very flat crust and here is how the crust is going to look when it's all done I made it very thin and I'm going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes and this is the final product. Now at this point, go ahead and put your toppings on. I used some Rayo's spaghetti sauce and some pepperonis and put that back in the oven for about 10 minutes until everything was melted and golden. My husband really enjoyed this one, so go ahead and try it out. Let me know how you like it. And as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.